So here we are on top of the mountain behind our house. It's so enormous to just sit here and stare and just gaze and enjoy the view to just speak for itself. I love views. I think that we are so made, so designed to enjoy the view. I know that God's desire for every individual on this planet is to see exactly the same reference that He sees. He wants your life to be revealed to you so that you'll discover that you are more beautiful than any view that you could ever witness outside of yourself. God has unveiled you in Christ. He has brought you to a place of knowing you so that you can discover how beautiful you are, how amazing you are. This is what Jesus came to declare. He did not come to introduce a new set of rules, another ritual. He simply came to reveal you as in a mirror so that you and I may have exactly the same reference and discover ourselves mirrored in Him. And in that reality, we discover a love that is beyond any other agenda, a love that is genuine, a love that reaches out to the next person, seeing the same value, acknowledging the same esteem that God has placed upon our lives. What a joy to be alive in this context of the love of Christ. Now that we are seated together with Christ in heavenly places, we cannot get any higher. But I'm so glad that that place is not a boring place where theology would lead us to. But it's the very point of departure to explore the immense wealth of the love of God. Paul says that the height and the breadth and the depth and the length of the love of Christ surpasses knowledge. God has invited us into this place of unlimited romance. We are not striving to get somewhere. We are living from the reality of our joint inclusion in Christ. You are seated together with Christ in the bosom of the Father. Enjoy His embrace.